welcome. We are still into Mathematics 6, uh, quarter 1, week 2, and still uh, on fractions. This time, let's have problem solving. Okay, so uh, lesson 2 for the second week is all about uh, solving routine and non routine problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of fractions and mixed fractions using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. So, ano bang yung routine problem? A routine problem can be solved with the following four steps. So, yun yung understand first, then second is plan, see, solve, and then the last one is check in, look back. Yung non-routine problem naman is a type of problem which requires logical and creative thinking and analysis. So, usually, ito yung mga problems uh, in MTAP. Okay, so, naiiba na yung mga problems doon, non-routine. So, type 1 is solving problems uh, involving multiplication of fraction. So, without addition or subtraction lang ito. So, sample problem. Patty has 6 over 7 kilograms of sugar where she used one half of it for champorado. How much sugar did Patty use for champorado? So, again, A, understand the problem. Okay. Ano ba yung tinanong? What is ask? And, okay, it's just asking for the number of kilograms of sugar needed for champorado. If you remember, uh, for the week one, ang ginawa dito is uh, binigay yung specific question. So, um, minsan ang sagot dito could be the exact question. And uh, in some other cases, uh, some exams, ito yung ginamit sa number of kilograms or the number of um, items, the number of bags, or the amount, ganun yun, okay? And then, what are given? Given are 6 seventh kilogram of sugar and 1 half. 1 half lang ginamit ko dito, hindi kasi siya 1 half kilo. 1 half of it. So, 1 half of the 6 seventh of sugar ang hinanap natin dito. So, hindi 1 half kilogram ha. Okay, so. So, B, we have second step plan. Okay. What is the operation to be used? So, madali lang. It's, it should be multiplication kasi 1 half of 6 7 or 6 7 of 1 half or 6 7 times 1 half okay and then what is the mathematical sentence okay. mathematical sentence is just the number sentence ha? so that would be 1 half of 6 7 and then binanggit ko dati sa um, last nating video of ay pwedeng palitan ng multiplication sign so pwede mong sabihin 1 half times 6 7 equals n, yun na yung ating number sentence or mathematical sentence. And then, um, in the module, uh, binaligtad, 6 7 ang nauna, pero the, the same lang po yun ha. 6 7 or 1 half ang una, pwede. Okay. And then, it shows here 6 7, 6 um, shaded parts out of 7, and then 1 half. Kung ipagsama mo yan, ito yung lalabas. Okay, so 6 7 times 1 half is just actually 6 over 14. Kasi kung bibilangin mo yung red dyan, yan yung 6. And then kung bilangin mo lahat ng equal parts dyan is 14. So the 1 half of 6 7 or 6 7 times 1 half is just 6 out of 14 equal um, parts. Right? And this is reduced to 3 over 7. Kasi pwede yung i-divide yung dalawa by 2. So, final answer is 3 over 7. Now, paano ba natin uh, mak makita yan na 3 over 7 talaga yan? Okay? Di madali lang o. Oh, dito lang yan o. Oh. Ayan o. Oh. Um, since we have 6 7 as the, at the start, pwede natin hatiin yung dalawa. Edi, unang hati is itong tatlo. Pangalawang hati is yung pangalawang tatlo. So, yung kalahati eh di yung napapaloob lang sa uh, isang bracket. So, tatlo. 3 out of 7. So, yun na yung sagot natin. Kahit nasa illustration lang or drawing, madali lang din. Alright? So, natin, that would be 6, 7 times 1 half. Okay? 
and then equal natin is 6 over 14. So, kung walang drawing ha, and then divide natin by 2, yung talawa, final answer is 3 over 7. So, therefore, Patty used 3 seventh kilograms of sugar for her champorado. Now, let's check and look back. Check if the answer is reasonable and correct. Paano natin gawin? You can repeat the calculation. You may do it differently. Okay? Not necessarily na sundin mo yung ginawa natin dun. So, repeat the calculation. This time, inad lang yung 3-7. So, dahil kalahate yung 3-7, edi kung tagdagan mo ng another 3-7, edi isang kalahate pa. Edi buo na yung um, uh, original kilogram of sugar na binigay sa problem natin. So, 3-7 plus 3-7 is just 6-7. So, tama yung sagot natin. Right. Type 2, solving problem involving multiplication uh, of simple fraction by another simple fraction with addition na ito ngayon. So, nandito pa, nandun pa rin to sa module nyo ha. So, sample problem. Mrs. Santos sells food at the school canteen. Her daily marketing budget is 3,500 pesos. She allots 4 seventh for the purchase of meat, 2 seventh for fish, and the rest for vegetables and other ingredients. How much money is allotted for buying, buying fish, vegetables, and other ingredients? So, first step, understand the problem. So, what is asked? Again, how much money or the amount of money allotted for fish, vegetables, and other ingredients right so what are given we have here the marketing budget which is 3500 we have 4 7 which is uh, for the meat 2 7 for the fish and then the rest is for vegetables and other ingredients plan so, what is the operation to be used? So, madali lang, multiplication and addition. Hindi lang isa. Okay, dalawa na to. And, what is the mathematical sentence or the number sentence? Okay. So, tandaan ha, 2, 7 uh, of 3,500 ang para sa fish. Diba? 1 seventh of 3,500 ang para sa vegetables. Ang hinanap lang naman is yung amount uh, na ginamit uh, or nilaan for fish at saka vegetables and other ingredients. And um, kung i-total natin yan, that is actually 3 seventh. Or uh, since nandiyan na siya, oh, 3 seventh of 3,500. So, Pwede mo i-multiply mo na dito and then 1 seventh of 3,500 multiply din ulit depende. So, let's check kung ano yung magiging number sentence natin. Okay? So, 2 seventh times 3,500 or 2 seventh of 3,500 yan yung sa para sa fish. Okay? Idagdag natin yung 1 seventh of 3,500 for the vegetables. Okay? And then kuha na natin yung hinanap. Okay? So, yun lang naman yung sa dalawa, di ba? Not necessarily i, i um, ano natin, i-solve natin kasi yun lang naman yung tanong. Okay? So, naiba konti sa module, ha? Sa, sa module kasi parang kinuha lahat, eh. Okay? But later on, i-ano ko rin. Okay? So, ano yung another way para gawin natin yung ating number sentence? So, again, Sinabi ko kanina, pwede mo i-add muna yung dalawang uh, fraction. So, again, this is our first number sentence. And then, yung sa pangalawa, add muna natin yung fraction. So, 2 seventh at 1 seventh. Madali lang dahil similar fraction sila. And then, yun na yung ita times natin with 3,500. And then, this is equal to N. This is our second number sentence. So, Piliin natin yung pangalawa kasi mas madaling isolve, di ba? So, 2 seventh plus 1 seventh, ah, quantity times 3,500 equals N. Yun na yung gagamitin natin as the number sentence, okay? Alright, so let's solve. 
So, 27 plus 17 times 3,500 equals N. And then, add natin yung dalawa. You have 37. Tandaan, PEMDAS ang ginamit natin ha. Kung naka-parenthesis, yung nasa parenthesis muna. Okay? So, since kailangan natin i-add muna yung dalawa, kaya nilagay natin sa parenthesis or bracket ha. Okay, so, uh, 37 times na natin with 3,500. And then, lagyan ng 1 para magiging fraction. Okay? So, ano ang pwedeng i-cancel natin? Cancel muna tayo. Diba? So, cancel natin ang 7 divided by 7. That's 1. Um, 3,500 or you can start with 35 divided by 7. That's 5. Dagdag natin yung dalawang 0. So, cancel natin yan. Okay? That would be 500. So, ang natira na lang is 3 over 1 times 500 over 1. Okay, so ayan, 3 over 1 times 500 over 1. And then, and then, in-equate ko ulit sa N. And then, i-times natin yung dalawa, you have 1,500 over 1. Or, tanggalin yung 1 sa baba, since this is uh, actually a whole number. So, 1,500. So, eto na ngayon ang uh, ginastos dun sa fish at saka um, vegetables and other ingredients. Okay, so this is um, yan 1,500 pesos for fish, vegetables and other ingredients. Okay? So check and look back. Check if the answer is reasonable and correct. So tignan natin. One way to check it is through illustration. So illustration na gagamitin. So ito yung um Okay, ito yung 3,500. Diba? Yan. And then, since pito lahat ang equal parts dito, eh, i-divide natin by 7. So, 3,500 divided by 7 is just 500, bawat isa. So, 500 dyan, 500, 500, yan. Okay, bawat isa, 500, diba? And then, 4 seventh ang para sa meat. Eh, di, Ito lang yan, diba? O, di, kita mo na, 2,000 para sa meat. And then, 2 seventh ang para sa fish, ba? So, ayan lang yung dalawa for fish. So, dalawang 500 is an libo. And then, the rest is for the vegetables and other ingredients. Hindi na nakita, okay? Alright, next. Let's have the last one. Um, problem solving involving multiplication of mixed fraction by another mixed fraction with subtraction this time. Okay? And then, sample problem. Marino and four of his friends went to the farm to harvest lanzones. They were able to pick ten and one half baskets of lanzones. Each basket contained eight and two thirds kilograms. Mang Lino gave each of his friends 3 and 1 half kilograms. Nilagyan ko tong kilograms pero dun sa module nyo walang kilograms. Pero kung tignan mo yung solution kasi, um, 3 and 1 half kilograms pa na to. Okay? So, 3 and 1 half kilograms for helping him. So, si Mang Lino at saka yung 4 friends niya yun ha. So, yung 4 friends niya binigyan niya ng 3 and 1 half kilograms each for helping him. And sold the rest for 80 pesos per kilo. How much does he get for selling the lanzones? So, understand the problem. Check what is asked. So, ano ba yung tinanong dyan? How much does he get for selling the lanzones? It's asking for the amount. Diba? So, we're looking for the amount of money he uh, got for selling lanzones. Okay? And then, are given. So, ito na yon 10 and 1 half. Ito yung number of baskets of lansones na nakuha nila. And then, 8 and 2 thirds kilograms. Ito yung bigat ng bawat basket. And then, 3 and 1 half kilograms. Ito yung binigay niya bawat isa sa apat niyang friends. So, hindi pala nalagay dito ang 4 friends niya. Right? And then, 80 pesos per kilo yung binenta na niya. Okay? So, plan. Paano natin isolve? So, what is the operation to be used? Okay? So, this is 
multiplication and subtraction kasi i-multiply mo yung number of kilograms in each in each basket eh may 10 and 1 half basket eh tapos i minus mo yung binigay niya sa kaibigan niya kaya multiplication and subtraction what is the mathematical sentence or the number sentence okay so you have 10 and 1 half ito yung baskets di ba and then times 8 and 2 thirds ito yung uh, kilogram per basket right and then lagay natin siya sa bracket kasi uh, dapat magkasama yan isolve mo muna yan para makuha mo yung total number of kilograms and then i-minus mo ngayon okay yung 4 na tig 3 and 1 half kilograms for his friends and then bracket ulit kasi dapat magkasama yan okay and then once you minus it once you subtracted it ito na yung all together i-multiply natin with 80 so this is our number sentence equate natin with n okay and then Right, let's solve. Okay, 10 on 1 half times 8 and 2 thirds. Okay, minus 4 times 3 and 1 half. Open and close. Okay, times natin with 80 equals N. So, PEMDAS gagawin ang nasa loob ng mga grouping symbols dapat mauna. So, 10 and 1 half is actually 21 over 2. Diba? Times 8 and 2 thirds is 26 over 3. Right? And then enclose natin ulit. And then minus natin. 4 is just 4 over 1. Times 7 over 2. And then enclose ulit. And then all together enclose natin bago i-multiply with 80. That is equal to N. And then solve ulit sa loob. Okay, so... Pwede tayo mag-cancel dito. So, cancel natin yung 2 divided by 2, that's 1. 26 divided by 2, that's 13. 3 divided by 3, that is 1. And then, 21 divided by 3, that is 7. And then, the other one divided by 2, this is 1. 4 divided by 2, this is 2. So, ang partner nito ay 4 and 2, ha? So, nag-partner sila yung nasa loob. Okay, ito rin yung nasa loob. Hindi pwede yung dito papunta doon. Okay, kasi may may uh, may subtraction sign na dyan eh. So, itong apat na ito, pwede mag-cancel as long as it's uh, numerator and denominator. Tapos dito rin. Okay, so ang natira na lang ngayon dito sa kabila is 7 and 3. Then 1 and 1 sa baba. And then sa sunod na um, grouping symbols, you have 2 and 7. And then 1 and 1 sa baba. All together, times natin with 80, which is equal to N. Okay? And then tuloy. So, yung 7 times 13 is just 91 over 1. So, tinanggal na natin yung 1. And then minus. 2 times 7 is just 14. So, ibig sabihin, yung 91 dito ay yung total kilos nang nakuha nilang lansones. Ito namang 14, ito yung binigay niya sa kaibigan niya. Okay? So, 91, e minus yung 14 na binigay sa kaibigan niya, in close natin, uh, matira dito, yun na yung i-multiply with 80. And then again, equate with N. So, again, mauna tayo sa 91 minus 14 kasi nakapaloob siya sa grouping symbol. So, 91 minus 14, you got 77. So, ito na lang yung natira niya, um, number of kilograms na binenta niya at 80 pesos per kilo. Okay? So, total nga nakuha niya is 6,160 pesos. So, Mang Lino got 6,160 pesos for selling the lansones. Alright? Oh, sorry, hindi nakita. Hindi ko namala yan. Natatabunan pala. Okay? And then, check natin and look back. Okay. Check if the answer is reasonable and correct. Okay. Uh, one way to check it is by repeating the calculation. So, dito, uh, binaligtad natin. So, alam natin na 6,160 yung pera niya. Um, 
Tapos, uh, binenta niya yung ano at 80 pesos. Kung i-divide natin with 80 pesos, lalabas yung number of uh, kilos na binenta niya. So, 6,160 divided by 80, you got 77. At alam natin na yun yung number of kilos na binenta niya, di ba? And then, 77, idagdag natin yung binigay niya. Sa kanya mga kaibigan na 14, bumalik ang 91. So, kahit hanggang dyan lang, alam mo na natama yung sagot mo. Kahit hindi na natin ibalik doon sa um, fractions kasi magde-divide tayo eh. So, kahit hanggang dyan lang pwede na. So, you are now sure that your answer is correct. Alright? So, um, sana naintindihan and uh, I will have I will have some uh, links na ilagay sa baba sa video para pwedeng yung pag-aralan. All right?